So this is my soil test results. You can see these are from, from January 18th, 2025. So this is just, I got these in today. And overall, I'm fairly happy with this, but there are some areas for improvement. There's one He's talking about the fraudulent my soil tests, the scam tests that have convinced a lot of people to spend $30, $40 or whatever the test costs. Their system is actually extremely efficient. I'll be honest with you. It's very good. I mean, it comes to your house, you put the sample in, you mail it off. It's very consistent. This my soil system, although it's fraudulent, there's no evidence to support it. And it, 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 it fleeces our industry out of money that could be used in more efficient ways and in evidence-based ways. It is very efficient in terms of its turnaround time. I'll give, I'll give them credit for that. They got the system down in terms of getting the sample out, getting the sample back, getting the data back, getting these reports generated and recommending products and so forth. Now, granted, none of the information is valid as far as I'm aware. Um, the, the process is exceedingly expensive compared to a critical limit approach and buying commodity products like urea or potassium sulfate or whatever and doing it yourself. It's very, very, very expensive to do it this way and very wasteful, um, but that's what he's using. He's using the my soil test. So um, when he's talking about this, be sure we understand that when he's talking about nutrients, there's no evidence to support anything that he's saying regarding whether or not the nutrient is in sufficient levels or not.